guys it's been broken today i finally hit my first clip on the beta and it was a five on so i am um, very excited so i'm definitely going to be in um ce's um team Taj for the beta i'm going to be mad excited for that um but today i kind of want to show you guys the class setups that i've been running recently on the two snipers um so basically let's just go to this one the lr is my favorite sniper in the game so right now I have the long barrel um, I have the extended mag because you always gotta get the, um, the extra ammo, the quick draw grip, um, the heavy stock, and the fast motion laser. This, for me personally, has been the best class setup that I've been able to use, and I'm really, really enjoying it as you guys saw. Um, and now the SVD, um, this one is still not fully leveled up, but I'm using the muzzle brake because this does um, the first the first shot recoil control that is a very important thing hold on let me move my okay, so as, as you guys can see it says the first shot recoil control then now that is super important because you won't have much recoil on the first shot that you shoot and since this is a semi-auto sometimes you'll end up staying into the site or staying zoomed in so that will help and it's also the kick reset speed you need that you need that because this gun can have some um, recoil so do that and then we have the long barrel that increases damage range you definitely want to use that and um, then we have the weighted handguard this is more recoil control because it is a semi auto and you always need that recoil control and right now i have the the heavy stock for flinch resistance because the flinch is mad strong in this game and the fast motion laser just in case you want to try and do some dolphin diving no scopes whatever the hell you want to do but it does increase the hip fire spread so you can get lucky with some cross maps or whatever so um yeah man that's the class setup and i have i, I have a little bit hold on, let me put my thing back real quick i have a bit of a secret little um um setting that i've been using um and honestly all these new call of duties that they've been doing um hold on let me get to a controller so you want to go into the aiming advanced settings and then you open it up and then you want to go to the aim response curve now um I personally have been playing on dynamic and I've been hitting a lot more shots and uh, I, I, I just feel more confident that my that my that my um, my aim assist is actually gonna help me out so dynamic is ideal for more experienced players fast starting movement that slows down to the aiming rate uh, reverse s curve mapping you guys probably can't see the full thing but this is what I've been using on this the aim assist aim assist because aim assist is mad strong in this game so yeah man that's what i've been using and for the transition timing i have it on instant just so um it says the sensing multiplier is applied immediately when aimed down sights you want that okay so another thing that i kind of just recently found out um is for the weapon mount exit um so this um i guess it, it it's how fast you get out of the mounting and you guys know how how they have like a uh, so you basically get out of that instantly there's no delay so you definitely want to add that to um your settings is in combat and then combat advanced settings and yeah man so that's basically what i have for you guys so this is a short video i'm actually going to be going live on um on twitch um probably right after this video goes up so yeah man thank you guys for watching see you guys in the next video adios Peace out.